show you how much of a kick-ass system the SNES is, I have three of them. Oh, two are clones, but still, three SNESs. And it's a good thing because in this, I'm going to be testing the SD to SNES on all three of these units. So you guys can see for yourselves that it all works. Now, first of all, we have an original console, the SNES Mini, which is actually pretty good because they used the one chip on this, so the video is much, much sharper. I know you can add this video to that, blah, 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 but I don't have a port for that. This is the FC16 Go, which is the older SNES portable, before this bad boy came along. The Superboy. Now, Superboy's okay, but the buttons are a little farther apart. i got to get used to it, and the D-pad's a little stiff yet, because I haven't really used it as much. Um, the volume is not as loud, but, you know, they fixed the buzzing noise, by the way. So now we're going to take the SD to SNES on these three, and we're going to try it out. Now first, we're going to try it on the Superboy, because that's what everybody's been asking, and of course, that's the SNES portable that a lot of people have or prefer. We're going to turn on this bad boy here. It's rebuilding because I um, added more ROMs. Which doesn't take very long. Here's all my ROMs. Now we're going to try one game across the board because it's the one that everybody plays the most. And they can't really see it. But it's the only thing I hate about this Super Boy, the D pad's a little tight. You see, the volume's not too loud. And this is all the way, by the way. And this is all the way, by the way. Of course, I'm going to get further in depth when I hook it up to the actual SNES because that's the one I'm going to be taking the gameplay footage from. But you can see it works here. I can't really do much because I got one hand. One hand's holding the camera, so. I know I should invest in a tripod, but whatever. But we're going to go to the FC. 16 go. Now the next one we're taking a look at is the Superboy's predecessor and uh, of course not by, made by the same company obviously. Um, the FC 16 go. Now this is the handheld that most people um, had before the Superboy came out. And volume's a little louder, the buttons are a little better. Um, but the only thing is it shakes a lot and it's of cheap quality. So let's turn this on. See if we get it. And it works on the FC-16 GO. I think. Oh, uh, wait. It froze up. Let's try this again. I'd rather show this part. I will say, it's a little bit of a pain to get these parts and the, the universal shells into the Superboy and the Superboy once you get it it's fine so. seems to be working now basically it's, it's the Super Everdrive all over again it works when it wants to Of course, you can see the volume is much, much louder on this, thank God. You know, it's funny, I have that, and yet I still go to this from time to time. But you can see it definitely works on the FC-16 Mobile. Now let's see if it'll work on a SNES. Now, I am, of course, in the den. And... I got my Super Nintendo hooked up. Sometimes I put an air bed here to take a nap real quick. You know, during the day, have some fucking privacy. Well, anyway, let's turn this SNES on. And there it is. You see what I like, though, about the SD to SNES, about, not the SD to SNES, the um, Super Nintendo Junior. 
it the text and everything is it's a much crisper picture you know so we're gonna play Mario Kart from here looks really big on here and again it's a 32 incher so it's better look at a 32 inch screen than a 6 inch screen As you see, it's working on the SNES Junior. So, pretty much across the board, it works. Um, with the FC16 Go, it's like the Super Ever Drive. It's going to take a couple tries for it to turn on. And, of course, you should make sure you're at a full battery. Um, but, yeah. But definitely the best console for it, of course, the regular Super Nintendo. But... The Superboy is the second best, if Chris, especially if you want to take it with you. So, that's the system compatibility. And now we're going to look at some gameplay.